I've recorded this like a bunch of times, so that I can't seem to get like a cohesive train of thoughts out that is unrelated from what I'm currently doing. And then I realized, why does it have to be unrelated from what I'm currently doing? I think it's because when I when I watch Vlogbrothers videos and I watch your videos, it's like, oh, that is unrelated to what I'm currently doing. But the point of me making these videos is to encapsulate like a sliver of my mind for future me and future you to watch and observe and to understand better. So I'm going to talk about the things that I can't stop thinking about. The first of which is the emergence of the modern religion or like culture shift that we're trying to instigate with Scratica and other things. And that is um, in opposition to a culture that is increasingly individualistic and low agency, which is the worst combination because you feel both alone and like you can't do anything. So how, what are the, the mechanisms and the programming that is required in order to make this possible? Right now we've landed on demos because it's a communal gathering space that people can use to showcase the things that they really, really care about and then uh, broadcast it in a way that uh, creates that like shared context amongst people, but then also gives them a chance for, for interaction and stuff. But I think this could definitely spin out into like residency, summer camp, whatever. And like, I think there, there's like a whole slew of programming that like canon needs to exist here. And like, I think what was really surprising for us is that like, yes, we did it for like a year and a half at Waterloo, but like the moment that we were public with it, the sheer amount of input, like, I think, I think we got a taste of it once we first posted the symposium, but like now that we have more infrastructure set up, we have like an actual operating procedure of how we function, like really core values that like we are unwilling to compromise on. Um, I feel like now then we have an excuse for people to come to us to ask for resources, but what they actually want is social permissioning to do this thing. And it's like, if we are a social permissioning self-actualization machine, I'm very okay with that. So that that's like so many of, like all of that is extremely loaded because like it is the thing that I am thinking about and trying to articulate on like a consistent basis. But like, I had a conversation with a friend somewhat recently and they were talking about how um, they feel that like school has like been out like they, they feel extremely educated, but like all the problems that they want to fix, like are, are on the scale of like international relations and like they're, they're really big, broad problems. And like, what the heck as an individual are you supposed to do with this? And it's just like the, the delivery of the material and the content that they've been steeped in and have done really excellently at and the actions at which they can take in the world to like meaningfully impact the things that they've learned about is like a complete mismatch and like I think I talked about this in an earlier video but it seems to just be like a common through line in a lot of the way that modern education and uh, modern culture around work and and learning is, is structured and that like it's it's the more that we spend time on this the more insidious of a problem that I realize that it is and is probably a root of um not not a lot of the mental health problems that exist but probably like a significant amount of the preventable ones and like I don't know, like this, this in my head strikes me as like social technology for a social problem. Um, but I think that, oh God, I really wish, I really wish I could pull up a diagram right now. But I think that there are both like social problems and, and technological problems. And then there's uh, social solutions and technological solutions. And it's like, it's kind of like a Punnett square two by two matrix. And like, I was thinking about this when I was looking at the Monte Carlo method, because it deter it, it like delineates between like stochastic problems and deterministic problems. And there's like stochastic problems, deterministic problems, and then stochastic solutions and deterministic solutions. And it's like, it's interesting that like the field of problem that exists can warrant a different, a solution set that is different from the, the type of thing that it is, which sounds obvious, but like, if you think about it, people are always trying to solve social problems with tech things, and that's totally fine. But then what about like the tech things with social solutions? Like, you know, so I think I think a lot to be thinking about, a lot to be thinking about. I think next time I got to figure out this like screen recording situation because I'm not paying for Loom. Um, but I do have like a diagram that I want to show and articulate more. Um, but yeah, in addition to that, in addition to the agency building and like cultural up roar there uh is like agenda setting like what can you get people to work on and like how do you create like a clearly defined set of near-termist things that people can impact with their lives so that is what i'm thinking about okay see ya